fields or pay thousands of dollars to travel leagues to play on well-kept public parks. The I-Team's Nathan Baca reports on pay-to-play baseball. Game day at Prince William County's Catarpin Park. That's better. But not all baseball fields are equal. Bases at Prince William County's Linden Park flooded. Guy Morgan helps run the Bull Run Little League. When it rains in the spring, for much of the spring, they're rendered unplayable. Using a Little League intermediary, the high-priced Virginia Stars Travel League booked all the good public fields for years, according to multiple Little League parents. Parents report having to fork out up to $5,000 each kid, each season, to play on the good public fields with the Virginia Stars. Those parents wanting to remain anonymous for fear of possible league retaliation against their kids spoke out. It's tough telling my children, hey, I'm sorry you can't play school ball because we don't have the money to fund you to play for the Stars organization. You know, these are uh, county-run public fields that should be assigned equally to all taxpayers in the community. Why can't we um, open up the fields, work as a community, so that all these kids can play baseball? The Virginia Stars director is former major leaguer and Colgan High School baseball coach Mike Colangelo. A Prince William County Schools auditor said Colangelo may be in violation of district policy for a conflict of interest. While Colangelo coaches a public school team, he also runs a baseball camp. The auditor was concerned made profit off of the public school students he coached. We found Mike Colangelo coaching his team at a public high school game. Coach Mike, Nathan Bach with ABC 7 News. He didn't respond to my last uh, interview request. Just wanted to see if I can ask you a little bit about uh, this, uh, the audit uh, that I was trying to ask you a few questions about. Just what was uh, done to make sure you don't have a conflict of interest? I'm in the middle of getting ready for a game, so well, I can do that right now. After Colangelo refused to answer our questions, a public school employee and county police officer ejected us from the stands saying we couldn't shoot video of the public high school coach. But after the ABC 7i team got involved, Little League parents say Prince William County Parks and Recreation is now scheduling fields to give the lower paying families just as many good fields as the higher priced travel leagues. I'd just like to thank you and, and WJLA for, for covering this story. It was a result of your coverage. Uh, those have largely been addressed. Prince William County Parks and Recreation says they show no favoritism in assigning these fields. The superintendent's office says their auditor will re-examine the potential conflict of interest later this year. In Manassas, Nathan Baca, ABC 7 News. Yeah, I mean, when you play Little League as a kid, it shouldn't cost anything. You know, you yeah, pay for your good. uniform and a couple of things, it's not going to be $5,000. That's it's ridiculous. right. Ridiculous. C-Bar C yeah. is where I used to play in, in a little place in California. I still remember to this day. It was very fun. <laughs> All right, so uh, tonight we have some rain moving in, and yeah. when it comes in, it's going to come in pretty heavily. So oh, one thing I can tell you to do right now, and I know a lot of you are laying in bed, if your car windows are down, if your home windows are down, because it's a gorgeous night, and I'm sure many of you have them down, I'd take the minute or two or five and go roll them up or else your car or your home is going to be pretty wet. So we're at 62 at uh, Reagan National right now, 58 around Gaithersburg, pretty much low 60s, upper 50s around the area. And our numbers aren't going to move too much uh, as this moves on in. The clouds are in our region down to our south. That's where the heavy rain is right now. The thunder and lightning rolling on up out of uh, uh, North Carolina right up here into Virginia. This is not a severe weather event. The green is the general thunderstorms category tonight. And notice that that doesn't even nose all the way up to the D.C. Metro. We may hear the rumble of thunder, but this is certainly not a severe weather event. And tomorrow, we don't, we're not even in that uh, general thunderstorms risk at all. But it is a rainmaker for us and a heavy rainmaker at that. So here's the hour by hour. I'll pause this overnight. We're really looking between like 2 and 5 a.m., depending on where you are, earlier off to the south, a little later up to the north. This is when the system rolls in, so you might wake up tonight to the sound of some very heavy rainfall out there, and that will put some ponding on the roads, maybe take some small creeks, small streams, and bring them up a little bit. Uh, but it's going to most likely cause a very slow commute. Here's a look at 7 o'clock. Here's 8 o'clock. Still raining. Things are going to be wet, and so that will likely uh, cause a snarl for your traffic. Set the alarm 15 minutes early just to be on the safe side. Worst case scenario, you get to work, or best case, I guess, get to work early. Everybody's happy. Have some extra coffee and some extra time. That moves on out of here. We generally keep clouds in our forecast, but for the most part, drying into the afternoon and early evening. I don't see any problems uh, for your Friday evening at all. But look at the numbers. Most of this occurs by tomorrow morning, and some spots will pick up an inch or more of rain 
And again, that's not spread out over 24 hours. That's over the course of like two or three hours. And so that's why things will come up uh, rather quickly. So heavy rain moving in tonight. Temperatures are going to stay in the 60s and 50s. It's about where we'll be tonight. Warming to about 64 degrees with showers mainly during the morning. And then we'll keep a couple of lingering showers for your afternoon on Saturday. Otherwise, it's a pretty dry and in my book, pretty nice looking ABC 7 day, especially next week, guys. We start uh, May, temperatures in the 80s. Sweet. Good thing the waterworks ends early because tomorrow, Bill is going to be on the camp campus of the University of Maryland. It's <laughs> in celebration of Maryland Day this weekend. So tune in at 4, 5, 6 tomorrow for the weather on the go, and you'll see Bill there. All right, a price hike at Amazon. That Prime membership, it's about to cost more. Yeah, we'll tell you how much more you'll be paying for that two-day shipping and video streaming next. Girl, you look good, want to back.